your lips in the center of eclipse in total darkness I reach out and touch makeup look I'm not sure what I'm gonna call this video yet but you get the gist it's pretty full-on most probably it's the most full-on makeup look I have done on my channel ever and I just realized I was doing so many hand gestures there but I posted a picture on Instagram which will be up on the screen now and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a tutorial on this look on this look on this look and everyone said yes so I thought I would bring you it because you seem to all want it and as a disclaimer I know I'm obviously not the best at makeup I'm 14 years old I do not wear this on an everyday basis but recently I've been having a lot of fun trying out new looks and experimenting a lot more with eyeshadow and I pretty much like the turnout so if you don't then that's your problem bye so for those of you who want to know how I got this makeup look carry on watching so I'm taking Nuna and Limit from the Naked 3 as transitional shades in my crease. Then I'm taking Mugshot from the Naked 3 all over my crease to make the look more grey. And then I took this shade from the MUA Undress Me 2 palette and I focused that on the outer corner of my crease to make the look a bit darker and more intense. Then I blended that out. Don't worry if it looks harsh, we can just blend like Beyonce. Then I took Dark Side from the Naked 3 and I put this, as you can see, sort of on the very outer part of the crease and I just made that all even and then blended it. Really pack that on and then just blend it. That's the technique. Don't worry about it looking neat. We will clean it up later. Then I took this gorgeous silver shade from this MUA palette and as you can see, it just looks absolutely stunning. I added a second layer to further intensify it and really get out that pigmentation. And then I went in with black. Don't be scared, guys. Just use quite a bit, but on a small brush. Just flicker it on, that's what I found. And then underneath my eye on the outer corner, I took the very first shade we used in the MUA palette. And then on the rest underneath my eye, I used that silver to make it a bit brighter. Then here's the bit where it all comes together, clean it up and add some eyeliner, this is the colour unlimited one and it's actually a lot easier than you think because you kind of get to follow the line from when you neatened it up. Um, then I'm using roller lash for my mascara, I'm so bad at voiceovers but yeah just using it just on the top lashes for now, I'll do the bottom later and now we can move on to the base, benefit that gal primer, my fave. Adds a really glowy touch to the skin, it's just gorgeous. And then I use the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. And I just put quite a bit of that on. Yeah, as you can see, just blended it out with my fingers at first to make everything like precise. Blended it down my neck to make sure my face and my neck were the same colour and I look really weird doing this, so ignore that. Then I use the Real Techniques Buffing Brush to sort of blend it all out. Concealer, concealer, I need to hurry up. <laughs> NARS Creamy Concealer and Rimmel Wake Me Up. Yeah, put the two together, blended, simple. Then I used Hoola Bronzer by Benefit to bronze up my pale AF face. So I put it on my jawline to make that look on fleek. I put it under my cheekbones to make them look on fleek. And then I put it on my pale AF forehead that needed to be bronzed. Yeah. Eyebrows, moving on, just combing them as per usual and filling them in with the City Colour Eyebrow Kit. If you want an eyebrow routine, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Um, pretty simple, do the same thing every time, not the best. And then here's me coming up showing the difference between a filled in eyebrow and a not filled in eyebrow. I'm so interesting. High beam for highlighter. <laughs> this is going on my cheekbones, like the tops of them to make them stand out and the bridge of my nose and then under my eyebrows because I was feeling it, you know? Haven't done that in a while, so I did it. Wow. Lipstick. <laughs> I'm great at voiceovers. I firstly used MAC Velvet Teddy all over my lips. 
as a nice colour and then to make them appear more plump I used my Olivia Palermo lipstick in the shade Truffle which was given to me by my friend Leela. Then I used Twig from MAC on the outer corners to make the lips look even bigger and plumper and then I applied some lower um, mascara on my lower lashes and that was the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd also like to apologise for the state of my hair right now. It's not very nice. And also, I thought I'd do something more makeup y because my recent videos. Oh, lighting change! Oh my. Whoa. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> As I was saying, I thought I would do something more makeup y because my other videos recently have been more sort of lifestyle comedy related, so thought I'd bring you what you wanted. And for those asking, there will be a makeup collection at 10,000 subscribers alongside a sneaky little giveaway. So keep subscribing if you want to see a makeup collection. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. Let's try and get to 355. And also, don't forget to comment down below because I honestly love looking through the comments and seeing how lovely you all are and I'm so grateful to have your support and that is about it for this video guys I love you all to the moon and back goodbye <sighs>